Hey everyone. Welcome back again. Creating a motion element can take many hours. And the result can be frustrating. But there is something which can help you to achieve the best result in just a few seconds. So today, we are going to take a look at the Create Pack by the Aloha FX. Let's roll the intro. The Create Pack really provides more than 3600 motion graphic assets. And editing is just a click away. Let's take a look at the pack itself. The pack comes with a powerful extension, called Motion Pro. That makes sense, because you can preview the animation just by hovering your mouse on it. After installing it in your After Effects, simply go to the Window, Extension, and choose Motion Pro. It will appear right away. Now there is a huge library of the elements, such as typography, social media, and more. As you can see, the list goes on. Here, on the left, you will find these folders. They all contain the elements, which comes with the Create Pack. Everything is well organized, so that you can find any element easily. This pack supports preview, just hover your mouse on any of the element thumbnails, and it will appear right away. You can preview any element, or even any category, so that you can know what are you going to use. In the social media folder, you will find this Emoji Creator Pro. This is one of my favorite for creating emoji. We will take a look at it later. Now, the collection is really huge, so we won't be able to cover everything in a video you can try it by your own, and you will know how easy, and modern this create pack is. This pack also have the Instagram reaction pack, which you can place on top of any video, to get the attention of your audience. There are a bunch of different categories, such as device, which you can use to showcase your app, or even a website. It really depends on your choice, and what you are looking for. These models are not pre-rendered, you can customize it as well. For example, you can change the screen content. As well as, you can change the logo in these 3D models. These pack comes with the modern design, which is also a plus point. They are ready to go elements. Now there are many more categories, titles, lower thirds, call out, Transition, actually many transitions. Backgrounds, these are not static background, they are our moving. The next is burst. Lines, 
and the last but not least, shape elements. Let's see how we can use them. First, I am going to choose the typography. You can use any element you want, let's go with this huge typography. Before adding it into your project, make sure to create a new composition. Now simply click on this apply button, and it will add into your timeline. This is how it looks now. Let's see how we can edit this slide. Simply, open this composition, by double clicking on it. After that, go to the effect control tab. Now select this control layer, and here you can change anything you want. It literally makes the work easier. Choose any color you want. You can change the background color, and even the color of the text. You don't have to select each individual layer, for changing the elements. You can do everything from here. Even the size of any element is customizable. Cool, this is already looking better. And the animation's working fine. Let's see how to change the text of it. Simply, navigate to the text layer. And then double click on it. Here, replace it with your own text, and you are done. See, how easy is that? You can change each text element here. Cool. Now, there is one more thing about this create pack. Let's say, you have created the slide into the full HD resolution. But later, you want it to be a square, for sharing on Instagram, or other social media platform. It can be done easily. It has a responsive design, which can adapt the size, or any dimension in real time. For that, simply go to the composition, and choose composition setting. Here, let's change the width value, to the same as the height value, to make it square. Everything else remains the same. And then hit OK. See, it has changed instantly. You can undo and redo to see the changes by your own. Cool. Now there could be some elements, which you want to have a different size. Let's increase the size of this third text layer. You can do it easily by the control layer. Perfect. Switch back to the main timeline, and now you will see the composition size has not changed here. Because this is an independent composition. All the scripting, and the keyframes, comes inside this typography comp. You can place it anywhere, and it won't affect anything. That's smart. Now, if you want to change the dimension of it, simply go to the composition, and then composition setting. Here, change the dimension which you want. Cool, this looks good to me. Now there is one more thing to adjust the animation timing. You don't have to adjust it by using the keyframes. It comes with these markers. First one is in, and second one is out. Which you can drag to shorten, or increase the duration of the animation. Between these markers, the animation will stay on the screen. Let's place the out marker on the 5 seconds position. And also, decrease the length to around 8 seconds. Now set the work area to around 8 seconds. And you are good to go. Ram preview it. And this is how it looks now. Cool. Let's take a look, at the Emoji Creator Pro now. Quickly create a new composition. I am using the same size as the previous composition. Let's minimize this typography folder, and then click on the social media. Here, click on the apply button on this Emoji Creator Pro. It will add it right away. Let's change the emoji now. Simply select the emoji layer, go to the effects control tab. And here you can change anything you want. Change the eye from the drop down. Let's go with sunglasses. Here you will find an option, to change the mouth as well. Check the animation, and it will work right away. You can change the color of it as well. Use any color you want. Each element can be easily changed. For example, the color of the mouth and eyes. You can even add blush, and heart as well. Let's skip the heart for now, because designers don't have a heart. 
let's adjust the animation timing, just by dragging these markers. Cool, this looks good to me. Now I am going to add this thank you text here. Simply, apply it. And it will add to the timeline. Let's align them, so that they both appear at the same time. There are a bunch of options, to create new elements as well. You can merge two, or more elements together, to create something new. Everything is customizable. So don't worry about that. Let's place it right below, and this is what we have created. Adjust the animation, and you are good to go. It literally took one minute, to make this nice looking animation. Ram preview this, and this is how it looks now. You can check out the create pack from the link in the description. Right now, the create pack comes for the After Effects only, but it will be available for the Premiere Pro very soon. So, our video is complete, I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching this review video, have a good day. Yeah.